This is a story about a brother named Majid. Majid checked his watch. It was five minutes before seven. It was almost time for the U for the UEFA Championship Soccer League Championship game, final match. He wouldn't miss it for anything in the world. He said to himself, and then he remembered that it was almost time for Salat to Margaret. He said, he, this is what he said to himself, and how often do we find ourselves, or we have heard people say this. I will pray, I will pray Margaret and Isha after the match, he concluded. This match, uh, this match was a, uh, is a must watch, a must watch, and Salat can wait. The match was exciting, tense, and suspenseful, as, as expected. It was an amazing matchup. It was Chelsea and uh, somebody else. And this was and this was expected. Chelsea won dramatically via penalties. So they won so they won the game. The Chelsea fans were jubilant and the and the Bahrain 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 fans was downcast. And then the unexpected happened. An angry Bahrain fan rammed this car, rammed this car into the Chelsea fans they, as they stood celebrating their win and hit five Chelsea supporters. Alas, Majid was one of those who got hit. Two died on the spot while Majid and two others made it to the hospital. He passed away in a few minutes. After, after reaching the hospital, his last, his last words was, I wish I had prayed my remedy. His last words, I wish I had prayed my remedy. This could have been me. This could have been me or you. This is the, this is the person saying. This could have been me and you. Since we never knew, since we never know when death is coming to us, we have to live in this world remaining, uh, reminding ourselves that death is. I mean, that death can come in any minute. Therefore, love allow in your hearts. Should you perceive now? Nah, should you perceive the love of any other thing, or should perceive you should do anything than any other thing? Alas, Allah says in the Quran, the Surah of Baqarah, the Surah Baqarah, Ayah 165, He said, and, mankind are, and, man, and, and of mankind are some who takes besides Allah as rivals to Allah. They love them, they love them as they love Allah. But those who believe and love Allah more than anything else, if only, if only those who do wrong could see when they see, when they, when they I'm sorry, when they will see the torment that all power belongs to Allah and that Allah is severe and punishment. This is shirk, in case you didn't know. This is shirk. To put something in front of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, has commanded you to do, this is shirk. This is shirk for Asgard, which is minor shirk. Depending on how, I mean, well, depending on what levels, what levels it is. You have major shirk or minor shirk. So this is Sherpa Ashkar in, in, in pertaining to this that Majid. He said this shirt we ignore every we ignore we ignore every day, every minute of our lives, delaying worship of Allah for monetary pleasure of this doom. Loving other people or other things at expense uh, uh, at the cost of our love for Allah. We are not assured the next minute, yet we postpone worship and we postpone almsgiving, charity. All the time, Allah. I mean, Allah says, and, so, and, and, and then Allah says in the ayat, uh, in the surah that I just read, and nay, you prefer this life over, or you prefer the life of this world, although the hereafter is better than those that. And they close the Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in his farewells, in his farewell speech. Now, mind you, this is the last talk that this is the last talk that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave, and he said, "Beware of Shaitan." For safety, beware of Shaitan for the safety of your religion, for the safety of your being, your way of life. He has lost hope. He has lost hope in leading you away with the big things. If a Catholic come to you and say, pray to Jesus, the majority of us be like, get out of here with that. Go on with that. That's, those are big things. Rasulullah says, Salaam says, so beware of following him in the small things. May Allah help us against the evil process.